wanted to show you how to use a really quick and nice app called Padlet. And essentially it's free. You can go in and use it. Um, similar to um, some other apps, you can log in with OWL with your Microsoft account. Um, essentially you have to sign up for the account first, but you can have a free number of Padlets before actually having to pay. So that's kind of nice. So I'm going to log in with Google because I've done this before. And this is the right one. So essentially what you see with Padlet is this is a way that students can kind of almost make like a virtual post-it collage. That's basically the easiest way maybe to explain it. So if I look in here, so here's an example of one that I made for my Masters of Ed course. And I gave them a prompt and I asked the students, what did you make from, uh, or what did you learn from this particular talk? Do you have any outstanding questions? And essentially students, what they can do with Padlet is go in and see this little plus button here is they can double click anywhere and here. Now as a student, I can put in a new post. So I might ask about the microbiome and diet. So maybe what I might ask is something along the lines of does one's microbiome change if you drastically change your diet? Okay, so that might be one of the posts. And essentially, you can see here that you can see all the different student posts that are up here. If we went down here, you can drag files in, paste from a clipboard, or click here to post as well. So the nice thing is, is that students can put in different types of media if they want as well. So let's go back really quickly and see how to make a Padlet. It's really simple. So to make a Padlet, go in here, make a Padlet. So there's a few different options. These I know look pretty busy. I think the easiest one really is to do a wall. That's what I showed you before. So we'll do a wall. And essentially for the title, what you want to hear to have here is maybe the prompt that you're giving, giving your students. So it could be, you know, do you have any outstanding questions from this week's recorded lecture? Okay, and maybe I'll have here for the description, post your questions here. So by the students posting their questions here, what I could do is maybe make, uh, send out an email afterwards for clarification. I could send out a little video. I could send out an audio recording. But basically this would be a way for students to communicate with me and or with each other about where they have some misunderstanding. Now, I mean, you can change the wallpaper and stuff in here as well, or solid colors. You know, you can keep it pretty simple. All right, so we'll go back. And the font. Now, one thing to consider is new post position. So where do the new posts appear? So essentially, if you want a new post to be up at the front, you'd say first or last. Or if you want it to be last, and you kind of have it in... Um, in the order of time in which they were posted, then you can do last. The other interesting thing that you can do here is comments. So if I turn this on, this means that peers can comment on one another's posts. So if you want students to respond to one another in terms of a particular reading, uh, this can be a little bit more digitally, or sorry, visually pleasing than doing this um, in OWL. And students can comment on one another's posts. So it's kind of nice um, that way. Now, there's some requiring approval, filter profanity. Hopefully, these aren't issues um, at the level that we're at, but I mean, you certainly could uh, change those and turn them on. Okay, so now what I could do is start posting. Now, if I want to share this, what I can do here is you can see share. So there's a few different ways to do this. You can copy the link to the clipboard. You could get the QR code. You could also embed it in your blog or your website. So you could embed it in OWL, for example. Or if you're using it in different ways, what you could do, let's say if you're, um, your students, you have a Facebook group, you could share it on Facebook as well. Okay, so the visitors can write. And basically, by copying this link, any of these share options down here, whoever has that link or that QR code or can access it through the website, would be able to contribute. So it's a pretty simple way in order to do that. So really, 
The easiest way could be copying the link to the clipboard. Then you could go back into OWL and say under a particular lesson, let's say here for SES and inflammation, that I'm going to add and embed my content. So add content links. There's my Padlet and it's going to get loaded into there. Okay, so here at the bottom, you can see the students can click on that and that will take them to the Padlet that I made. All right, so it's a simple way to kind of show visual information. Um, it's a way that students can collaborate and talk to one another. It's a way that you can get simple feedback as well. So hopefully that helps um, give you another idea of two different ways that you could use um, discussion forums or ways that you can help students interact online.